Well, 602, the Paterno family has been faced with many hardships in recent months, but now may be the toughest time. The former Penn State coach looks to be losing his battle with lung cancer. And right now, the country is watching this situation very closely. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards joins us now live in the newsroom. Tara, what is the latest on the coach's condition? Well, Malcolm and Alicia, according to a family spokesperson, Joe Paterno is listed in serious condition. He says over the last few days, Paterno has experienced further health complications. Paterno was diagnosed with lung cancer in November after former assistant coach Jerry Sandusky was charged with child sex abuse. Nearly 200 students, faculty, and residents gathered at Paterno's statue on the campus of Penn State University. They said prayers and shoveled snow around the statue. His family may decide whether to take Paterno off the ventilator today. Thinking back at everything he did and I mean, he's, he's united. He's the Penn State community. He's bringing everyone together. Most of these people have probably been here, as well, his, he's been here the, their whole lives. I mean, what's Penn State without Joe Paterno? I mean, there's not very many people have, uh, that's here that, that's on the university it's, that he hasn't been here. And a student-run organization that covers Penn State had posted on Twitter that Joe Paterno had died. Paterno's sons disputed those posts and asked for the statements to be recanted. The managing editor of the organization announced his resignation. In the newsroom, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.